chapter Jeremiah chapter 41 now it came to pass in the seventh month that Ishmael the son of Nananiah the son of Ilzazama of the seed royal and the princes of the king even ten men with him came unto Galdiah the son of Ashikam to Mazpah and there they did eat bread together in Mazbah. Then arose Ismael, the son of Nanatiah, and the ten men that were with him, and smote Galdiliah, the son of Hakim, Hakam, the son of Saphan, with the sword, and slew him whom the king of Babylon had made governor over the land. Esmael also slew all the Jews that were with him, even with Galdea at Mespah and the Chaldeans that were found there, and the men of war. And it came to pass the second day after he had slain Galdea, and no man knew it, that there came that there came certain from Shashem, from Silo, and from Samaria, even fourscore men, having their beards shaven, and their clothes rent, and having cut themselves with offerings and incense in their hand, to bring them to the house of the Lord. And Ismael the son of Nanhatiah went forth from Mespah to meet them, weeping all along as he went. And it came to pass, as he met them, he said unto them, Come to Galdea, the son of Askim. And it was so, when they came into the midst of the city, that Ismael the son of Nahai slew them, and cast them into the midst of the pit, he and the men that were with him. But ten, but ten men were found among them that said unto Ismael, Slay us not, for we have treasures in the field of wheat and of barley and of oil and of honey. So he forbear and slew them not among their brethren. Now the pit wherein Esmael had cast all the dead bodies of the men whom he had slain because of Galdea, was it with Asha the king had made for, for fear of Basha king of Israel? And Esmael the son of Nahaniah filled it with dumb that were slain. Then Esmael carried away captive all the, resi the residue of the people that were in Muspah, even the king's daughters and all the people that remained in Muspah, whom Nebuchadnezzar, the captain of the guard, had committed to Galdea, the son of Hagkam. And Esmael, the son of Nara, carried them away captive and departed to go over to the Ammonites. But when Jonathan, the son of Karia, Kari, and all the captains of the forces that were with him, heard of all the evil that Esmael, the son of Nana, had done. Then they took all the men that went to fight with Ismael the son of Nanata, and found him by the great waters that are in Gibeon. Now it came to pass that when all the people which were with Ismael saw Jonathan the son of Caria, and all the captains of the forces that were with him. Then they were glad. So all the people that Esmael had carried away captive 
from the Mezpah, cast about the returns and went into Jonathan, Johan the son of Kara. But Esmael the son of Nathana escaped from Jonah with eight men and went to the Ammonites. Then took Jonathan the son of Kariah Kari, and all the captains of the forces that were with him, all the remnant of the people whom he had recovered from Ismael and the son of Nanana from Mespa. After that he had slain Gildala, the son of Hakim, even mighty men of war, and the women and the children and the eunuchs whom he had brought again from Gibeon. And they departed and dwelt in the habitations of Chiham, which is by Bethlehem, to go to enter into Egypt. Because of the Chaldeans, for they were afraid of them, because Esmael the son of Nanaha had slain Galdea the son of Alcam, whom the king of Babylon made governor in the land. Chapter 42 Warning Against Going to Egypt Then all the captains of the forces and Johan the son of Kari and Jezana the son of Hoshadiah and all the people from the, the least even unto the get greatest came near and said unto Jeremiah the prophet Let we beseech thee our supplication be accepted before thee, and pray for us unto the Lord thy God, even for all this remnant. For we are left but a few as many, as thine eyes do behold us, that the Lord thy God may show us the way wherein we may walk, and the thing that we may do. Then Jeremiah the prophet said unto them, I have heard you, behold, I will pray unto the Lord that your God according to your words, and it shall come to pass that whatever whatsoever thing the Lord shall answer you, I will declare it unto you, I will keep nothing back from you. Then they said to Jeremiah, The Lord be a true and faithful witness between us, if we do not even according to all things for the which the Lord thy God shall send thee to us. Whether it be good or whether it be evil, we will obey the voice of the Lord our God, to whom we send thee, that it may be well with us when we obey the voice of the Lord our God. And it came to pass after ten days that the word of the Lord came unto Jeremiah. Then called be Joan, the son of Kera, and all the captains of the forces which were with him, and all the people from the least even to the greatest. And said unto them, Thus said the Lord, the God of Israel, unto whom ye sent me to present your supplication before him. If we will still abide in this land, then will I build you and not pull you down. I will not plant you I will, and not pluck you up. For I repent me of the evil that I have done unto you. Be not afraid of the king of Babylon, of whom ye are afraid. Be not afraid of him, said the Lord. For I am with you to save you and to deliver you from his hand. And I will show you mercies unto you, that he may have mercy upon you, and cause you to return to your own land. But if ye say, We will not dwell in this land, neither obey the voice of the Lord your God, saying, No, but we will go into the land of Egypt, where we shall see no war, nor hear the sound of the trumpet, nor have hunger of bread, and there will be we dwell. And now, therefore, hear the word of the Lord, ye remnant of Judah, Thus said the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, If ye wholly set your faces 
to enter into Egypt and go so sojourn there. Then it came to pass that the sword which he feared shall overtake you there in the land of Egypt, and the famine there whereof ye were afraid shall follow close after you are you there in Egypt and there ye shall die so it shall be with all the men that set their faces to go into Egypt to sojourn there they shall die by the sword by the famine and by the pestilence and none of them shall remain or escape from the evil that I will bring upon them for thus said the Lord of hosts the God of Israel as my anger and my fury had been poured forth upon the inhabitants of Jerusalem, so shall my fury be poured forth upon you, when ye shall enter into Egypt, and ye shall be an execration, an astonishment, and a curse, and a reproach, and ye shall see this place no more. The Lord had said concerning you, O ye remnant of Judah, Go ye not into Egypt, know certainly that I have admonished you this day. For ye dissembled in your hearts, when ye sent me unto the Lord your God, saying, Pray for us unto the Lord our God, and according unto all that the Lord our God shall say. So declare unto us, and we will do it. And now I have this day declared it to you. But ye have not obeyed the voice of the Lord your God, nor anything for the which he had sent me unto you. Now therefore know certainly that ye shall die by the sword, by the famine, and by the pestilence, in the place whither ye desire to go and, so, and to sojourn. Chapter 43 and it came to pass that when Jeremiah had made an end of speaking unto all the people all the words of the Lord their God, for which the Lord their God had sent him to them, even all these words, then spoke Azera the son of Hash Hashuash, and Jonah the son of Karai, and all the proud men, saying unto Jeremiah, Thou speakest falsely. The Lord our God had not sent thee to say, Go not into Egypt to sojourn there. But Baruch the son of Nera set it thee on against us, for to deliver us into the hands of the Chaldeans, that they might put us to death and carry us away captives into Babylon. So Jonathan the son of Kara and all the captains of the forces and all the people obeyed not the voice of the Lord, to dwell in the land of Judah. But Jonah the son of Kara and all the captains of the forces took all the remnant of Judah that were returned from all nations, whether they had been driven to dwell in the land of Judah, even men and women and children and the king's daughters, and every person that Nebuchadnezzar, the captain of the guard, had left with Galdidia, the son of Achim, the son of Shaphan, and Jeremiah the prophet, and Baruch, the son of Nera. So they came into the land of Egypt, for they obeyed not the voice of the Lord. Thus came they even to trap pains. Then came the word of the Lord unto Jeremiah and the Tamphans, saying, Take great stones in thy hand, and hide them in the day the clay in the brickle, which is at the en entry of Pharaoh's house in Taphan, in the sight of the men of Judah. And say unto them, Thus said the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Behold, I will send and take Nebuchadnezzar the king of Babylon, my servant, and will set his throne upon these stones that I have hid, and he shall spread his royal pavilion over them. And when he cometh, he shall smite the land of Egypt, and deliver such as are for death to death, 
and such as are for captivity to captivity, and such as are for the sword to the sword. And I will kindle a fire in the houses of gods of Egypt, and he shall burn them, and carry them away captives, and he shall array himself with the land of Egypt, as a shepherd put it on his garment, and he shall go forth from thence in peace. He shall break also the images of Basemes, that is in the land of Egypt, and the house of the gods of the uh, Egyptians shall he burn with fire. Chapter 44 The word that came to Jeremiah concerning all the Jews which dwell in the land of Egypt, which dwell at Migdal and at Taphanes and at Nopha, and in the country of Pathro, saying, Thus said the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Ye have seen all the evil that I have brought upon Jerusalem and upon all the cities of Judah. And behold, this day they are a desolation, and no man dwelleth therein because of their wickedness which they have committed to provoke me to anger. In that they went to burn incense and to serve other gods whom they knew not, neither they ye nor their, your fathers. Howbeit I sent unto you all my servants, the prophets, rising early and sending them, saying, Oh, do not, do not this abom ab ab abominable thing that I hate. But they hearken not, nor incline their ear to turn from their wickedness, to burn no incense unto other gods. Wherefore my fury and my anger was poured forth, and was kindled in the cities of Judah, and in the streets of Jerusalem, and they are wasted and desolate as at this day. Therefore now, thus said the Lord, the God of hosts, the God of Israel, wherefore commit ye this great evil against your souls, to cut off from your, you man and woman, child and suckling out of Judah, to leave you none to remain, in that ye provoke me unto wrath with the works of your hands, burning incense unto other gods in the land of Egypt, whither ye be gone to dwell yet that ye might cut yourselves off, and that ye might be a curse and reproach among all the nations of the earth. Have ye forgotten the wickedness of your fathers, and the wickedness of the kings of Judah, and the wickedness of their wives, and your own wickedness, and the wickedness of your wives, which they have committed in the land of Judah, and in the streets of Jerusalem? They are not humbled, even unto this day. Neither have they feared, nor walked in my law, nor in my statutes that I set before you, and before your fathers. Therefore thus said the Lord of hosts, God of Israel, Behold, I will set my face against you for evil, and to cut off all Judah. And I will take the remnant of Judah that have set their faces to go into the land to sojourn there. And they shall now be consumed and fall in the land of Egypt. They shall even be consumed by the sword, and by the famine they shall die, from the least even unto the greatest, by the sword and by the famine. And they shall be execration, and an astonishment, and a curse, and a reproach. For I will punish them that dwell in the land of Egypt, as I have punished Jerusalem by the sword, by the famine, and by the pestilence, so that none of the remnant of Judah, which are gone into the land of Egypt to sojourn there, shall escape or remain, that they shall return into the land of Judah, to the which they have to desire to return to dwell there. For none shall return but such as shall escape. Then all the men which knew that their wives had buried incense unto other gods, and all the women that stood by 
a great multitude, even all the people that dwelt in the land of Egypt in Pathros, answered Jeremiah, saying, As for the word that thou hast spoken unto us in the name of the Lord, we will not hearken unto thee. But we will certainly do whatsoever thing goeth forth out of our own mouth, to burn incense unto the Queen of Heaven, and to pour out drink offerings unto her, as we have done we and our fathers, our kings and our princes, in the cities of Judah, and in the streets of Jerusalem. For then had we plenty of victuals, and were well, and saw no evil. But since we left off to burn incense to the Queen of Heaven, and to put our drink offerings unto her, we have wanted all things that have been consumed by the sword and by the famine. And when we burned incense to the Queen of Heaven, and poured out drink offerings unto her, did we make her cakes to worship her, and pour out drink offerings unto her without our men? Then Jeremiah said unto all the people, to the men and to the women, and to all the people which had given him that answer, saying, The incense that ye burned in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem, ye and your fathers, your kings, and your princes, and the people of the land, did not, did not the Lord remember them, and came it not into his 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 mind so the lord could no longer bear because of the evil of your doings and because of the abomination which ye have committed therefore it is your land a desolation and an astonishment and a curse without inhabitant as at as this day because ye have burned incense and because ye have sinned against the lord and have not obeyed the voice of the Lord, nor walked in his law, nor in his statutes, nor in his testimonies. Therefore, this evil is happened unto us, as is at this day. Moreover, Jeremiah said unto all the people, and to all the women, Hear the word of the Lord, all Judah that are in the land of Egypt. Thus said the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, saying, Ye and your wives have been spoken, both spoken with your mouths, and fulfilled with your hand, saying, We will surely perform our vows that we have vowed, to burn incense to the Queen of Heaven, and to pour out drink offerings into her her. <coughs> ye will surely accomplish your vows, and surely perform your vows. Therefore ye heard ye the word of the Lord and all Judah that dwell in the land of Egypt. Behold, I have sworn by my great name, said the Lord, that my name shall no more be named in the mouth of any man of Judah in all the land of Egypt, saying, The Lord God liveth. Behold, I will watch over them for evil and not for good. And all men of Judah that are in the land of Egypt shall be consumed by the sword and by the famine until there be an end to them. Yet a small number that escape the sword shall return out of the land of Egypt into the land of Judah. And then all the remnant of Judah that are gone into the land of Egypt to sojourn there shall know those words shall stand, mine or theirs. And this shall be a sign unto you, said the Lord, that I will punish you in this place, that ye may know that my words shall surely stand against you for evil. Thus said the Lord, Behold, I will give Pharaoh, Pharaoh, king of Egypt, into the hand of his enemies, into the hand of them that seek his fire, as I gave Zabakiah, king of Judah, into the hand of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, his enemy, and that sought his life. Chapter 45 Message to Baruch The word that Jeremiah the prophet spoke unto Baruch, the son of Neriah, when he had written these words in a book at the mouth of Jeremiah, 
in the fourth year of Joachim, the son of Joshua, king of Judah, saying, Thus said the Lord, the God of Israel, unto thee, O Baruch, Thou didst say, Woe is me now, for the Lord had added grief to my sorrow. I fainted in my sighting, and I find no rest. Thus said thou, say unto the him, The Lord said thus, Behold, that which I have built will I break down, and that which I have planted I will pluck up, even this whole land. And seekest thou great things for thyself, seek them not. For behold, I will bring evil upon all flesh, said the Lord. But thy life will I give unto thee for a prey in all places whither thou goest. Chapter 46 Judgment on Egypt The word of the Lord which came to Jeremiah the prophet against the Gentiles, against Egypt, against the army of Pharaoh Necho, king of Egypt, which was by the river Rephrates in Carsimus, which Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, smote in the fourth year of the Jehoiakim, the son of Joshua, king of Judah. Order ye the buckler and shield, and draw near to battle. Harness the horses, and get up, ye horsemen, and send forth with your helmets. Furbish the spears, and put on the brygenines. Wherefore have I seen them dismayed and turned away back? And their mighty ones are beaten down and are fled a space. And look not back, for fear was round about, said the Lord. Let not the swift flee away, nor the might man escape. They shall stumble and fall toward the north by the river Euphrates. Who is this that cometh up as a flood, whose waters are moved as rivers? Egypt riseth up like a flood, and his waters are moved like the rivers. And he said, I will go up, and I will cover the earth. I will destroy the city and the inhabitants thereof. Come up, ye horses, and rage, ye chariots, and let the mighty men come forth, the Ethiopians and the Libyans that ha handle <coughs> the shield, and the Lydians that handle and bend the bow, bow. For this is the day of the Lord, God of hosts, a day of vengeance, <coughs> that he may avenge him for of his adversaries. And the sword shall devour, and it shall be satiate, and made drunk with their blood. For the Lord God of hosts had a sacrifice in the north country by the river Euphrates. Go up into Gilad and take balm, O virgin, the daughter of Egypt. In vain shalt thou use many medicines, for thou shalt not be cured. The nations have heard of the sh thy shame and thy cry. Had filled the land, for mighty men had stumbled against the mighty, and they are fallen both together. The word that the Lord spoke to Jeremiah the prophet, how Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, should come and smite the land of Egypt. Declare ye in Egypt, and publish in Magdal, and publish in Noph, and in Taphanes. Say ye, stand fast, and prepare thee, for the sword shall devour round about thee. Why are they thy valanti, men swept away? They stood not because the Lord did drive them. He made many to fall, yes, one fell upon another. And they said, Arise, and let us go again to our own people, and to the land of our nativity, from the oppressing sword. They did cry there, Pharaoh king of Egypt but is but a noise. He had passed the time appointed. As I live, said the king, whose name is the Lord of hosts, surely as Tabor is among the mountains and as Carmel 
by the sea, so shall he come. O thou daughter dwelling in Egypt, furnish thyself to go into captivity, for no shall be waste and desolate without an inhabitant. Egypt is like a fairy fair heifer, but destruction cometh, it cometh out of the north. Also, her hired men are in the midst of her like battered bullocks, for they also are turned back and are fled away together. They did not stand, because the day of their calamity was a come upon them in the time of their visitation. The voice thereof shall go like a serpent, for they shall march with an army and come against her with axes, as hewers of wood. They shall cut down her forest, said the Lord, though it cannot be searched, because they are more than the grasshoppers and are innumerable. The daughter of Egypt shall be confounded, she shall be delivered unto the hand of the people of the north. The Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, said, Behold, I will punish the multitude of no, no and Pharaoh and Egypt with their gods and their kings, even Pharaoh and all them that trust in him. And I will deliver them into the hand of those that seek their lives and into the hand of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, and into the hand of his servants and afterward it shall be inhabited as in the days of old said the Lord but fear not though O my servant Jacob that be not dismayed O Israel for behold I will save thee from afar off and thy seed from the land of their captivity and Jacob shall return and be in rest and at ease and none shall make him afraid Fear not, O Jacob, my servant, said the Lord, for I am with thee, for I will make a full end of all nations whither I have driven thee, but I will not make a full end of thee, but correct thee in measure. Yet will I not leave thee wholly unpunished.
It's a long